Hello everybody, what's going on? 450 Dead Center here, Chris here with Daniel. What's up guys? And we're not tired at all, but today, or actually it was yesterday, but let's just say it was today. Today. No, 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 technically he signed today. Yeah, technically. Brandon Belt signed a one year, I think $9.2 million deal with the Jays. Yeah, no, I think it was 9 point, yeah, 9.2, 9.3. It was something whatever. like that, but whatever. Yes. <laughs> Technicalities. Yes. He uh, he did sign. Uh, it honestly came as a shock last night, as it was like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Was at it night really? I, maybe it was late. It was like 8, 9. Hang on, when did I text you? I think I went to bed early yesterday, so I just like sort of woke up and I'm like, oh, he's, he's a blue I will Jay. tell you. 9 o'clock. Oh, so yeah, I was still awake then. So I just probably. Yeah. Oh, I was at night school last night. That's why. That hey, makes sense. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he signed really late at 9. Mm -hmm. Um. Caught me off guard, not not gonna lie. I didn't think the next guy we would sign would be a, a batter. No, I, I about you. But. Yeah, I mean maybe Carlos Correa because he signed today, but I mean he's been with like three teams already, so. Maybe. So sorry, I meant Who's for the next? Jays. I meant for the Jays. Oh, oh, see, so yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, 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 makes sense. Yeah, I thought you thought it would be like a pitcher trade or something. You know, we did DFA Merriweather today, which kind of sad, but I'm pretty sure he will go through waivers because I don't see anybody yeah. taking him. So he'll probably be back with the team anyway. But if not. Maybe the Yankees will take him because he owns the Yankees. So who knows? Probably. But, I mean, this video is all about Brandon Belt, Chris. So exactly. Just make sure everyone hits that like button, hit that subscribe button here, and we're going to break it right down. So, yes, Chris. Yes, sir. Yes. Brandon Belt, first of all, actually, we'll say if we like the trade at the end of it. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, Brandon Belt, statistically, he's played 12 years with the uh, with the Giants, which I did not know he was only with the Giants. Only though. with the Giants. Two World Series yeah. rings with him, actually. Yep, two. Yep, two World Series rings. So I mean, that playoff experience that he's going to bring to the Jays, I think that's something that you can't ignore, especially with this kind of signing. One hundred percent. It's just like the signing of us when we signed George Springer to a contract. Just like sort of how we sort of signed Matt Chapman, even though we traded for him, but he's had like maybe a couple of years of playoff experience. It's just a good veteran presence to have in the clubhouse. And plus, we got rid of Lourdes Gurriel, so that really means our backup first baseman was Biggio. Which I'm okay with him playing there, but I guess everybody else isn't. And then now Brandon Belt can be like a backup first baseman. He bats left. He throws left. He's just... And he also plays outfield too. Yes. He hasn't played outfield in a long, like in two, two, two seasons though. Mm -hmm. But... He can. I mean, like, he can. So it is a possibility. But the one thing I like about Belt is, like I said, the playoff experience is nice. But he's also won. He's not hasn't won once. He's won twice. Just yeah, huge. he has. He has. Like, Especially that with the Jays team, when like we said, it's very, very young. That there's maybe only, like you said, only two or three guys that have been to the playoffs, and yeah. gone deep in the playoffs. Yeah, like uh, pretty much the whole team has made the playoffs, but we haven't won a game in since like 2016. Is that the last time we won a yeah. playoff game? Yeah, it's the last time. Yeah, we last time we won a playoff game. So yeah, I mean, I mean, Springer's been to the World Series final. He has, and uh, he's won a World Series. Yeah. Um, is Gosman? I don't think Gosman ever went with the Giants to the like past the first round right yeah he played on the 2021 team when they were insane but oh yeah yeah, I mean, yeah and, and, Chapman got bounced, and Chapman got bounced first round so I mean this is some nice experience as well like you, you already kind of alluded to it he's gonna be a backup first baseman I mean he will be it's the, honestly he's sort of like a rowdy Telez as he's gonna yes. be back at first baseman except he can actually play other where uh, other positions other than first base. Like, I'm sure he'll DH, but then, like, that sort of spot's kind of reserved for Kirk and Jansen at this point now. But I guess I if feel like he'll there. be the DH, assuming he hits well. Mm -hmm. He will be the DH versus righties. Well, it would make sense as he is a left handed pitcher. And then Kirk can. I mean, I prefer Kirk in the lineup anyway, just for yeah. pure contact. And he doesn't strike out. Brandon Bell strikes out all the time. He's got pretty high K numbers. So, yeah, so I, I just pulled up his stats here. So, mm -hmm. I mean, the only. Uh, uh, the last two years, he's kind of been plagued with injuries. That sucks. So that's a little bit of concerning. I mean, this is a really high risk, high reward. I mean, it's, it's nine. Risk, it's nine risk. million. I mean, it's, yeah, it's sort of like a mid I mean, risk, you know. I was watching the Blue Jays today talk about it yesterday, and they kind of alluded to it. It, it you'll either it'll it can it can't really be. You would call it a high risk, high reward situation. Mm -hmm. However, it's just one year, so it's not really high risk. Yeah, like I'd say more a high-risk deal around this sort of money was when we had Randall Grichuk, right? I like, agree, 100%. Because Grichuk was making around $10 million, something like that, but he hit like 30 home runs, batted like 220. I guess that's sort exactly. of what Brandon Belt's going to do, except he doesn't really play outfield that much. But I prefer Brandon I mean, Belt over Grichuk. I agree, 100%. Uh, Brandon Belt, like I said, it's a low-risk, high-reward situation. It's $10 million, roughly. 
if yeah. it's if he uh if he does bad he's off the books next year or whatever exactly. it's um, li- you literally can't go wrong with a one-year deal exactly you can't go wrong with a one-year deal uh his stats last year were not the best i mean he only mm-hmm. played in 78 games it's like half he hit 213 326 on base 350 slugging 676 ops so you, like, yeah and you said he was hurt though so that he was hurt and the year it. before he was hurt only played about 97 games but, yeah, but that he, year he had like 30 dangers he, he went way better, yeah. He had 30 home runs at the time, uh, 274 average, 378 on base, 600 slugging, and almost a thousand OPS. So that is very good. And were the ball? I don't remember. Were the baseballs juice in 2021 just a little bit, or were they it, maybe just a little? Maybe bit. just a little but, bit. Okay. I guess coming off the of COVID mean, it, year, if yeah, you can sense. get that season from Brandon Belt again. Mm-hmm. He could have had a. Win. The thing is, he could have had like a forty home run season that year if he continued yeah. playing like all one hundred and sixty two. Like you said, he played what ninety eight games or something like that. Like, like that, yeah. He still had sixty more. That's still like he played two thirds of the season, and this guy had twenty nine home runs in San Francisco. If you can get that here, um, if you get this Brandon Belt, fantastic signing. This is the Brandon Belt that I think the Jays expect. I don't think it's unrealistic that he can hit this again because this isn't even his top numbers. I mean, mm-hmm. he hits he hit way better previously early on in his career. He did. But I mean, he's what? 30, two, he's going to be 35, right, next year? 35, yeah. yeah. So he, if he can hit 270, hit like maybe not 30 home runs, but if he can hit maybe 15, 15 home runs. Yeah, I'd be good with that. Off the bench, uh, I don't know, 60 RBIs. I'm just Take throwing that. out numbers here. but Yeah, like. Yeah, and just also I, don't forget, like, injuries happen. So yeah. he'll definitely get playing time. Like someone will get hurt on the team. Heaven forbid, nobody. Knock on wood here. But someone's gonna get hurt, and then he'll just slide right into that batting lineup. Because then we'll probably take somebody out of a DH spot, and then maybe he'll DH. Exactly. Two last things I want to point out, and then we'll wrap this video up. I think Chris. Sure. Um, this is his second major knee injury. Um, mm. so that's a little concerning. However, last time he he had this surgery like whatever knee injury surgery um uh, back in 2015 2014 okay uh where he only played 60 games but the next year he comes back to 2015 and he hits 300 and finishes like 10th in the mvp voting so so when he's healthy and feeling good so I'm, he plays I'm just good. saying history tends to repeat itself could have a nice year from Brandon Belt here. That would be pretty solid. And I know the year after that as well, he was an all-star. So that's yep. pretty solid right there. I mean, that was also I mean, when he was in the prime of his career. Give him that. We'll give him that. But We'll give him that. But you know what? I, I think he also is just going to be a nice mentor for Vlad there. Um, You're right. As well as some of the younger guys. I mean, uh, defensively, he's he's pretty solid. Like, he's, he's, not, he's no slouch defensively. So I'm sure he was better when he was something. younger. But uh, Obviously. Exa- but, exactly. But I'm sure he'll be yeah. just... I mean, it's first base. It's not really the most taxing position. Anyway, oh, as so. well, I wanted to mention, mm-hmm. um, there is no shifts this year. Ooh. And Brandon Belt always had the David Ortiz shift on him. Interesting. So, so I forgot to mention that. Yes. So if you look at his spray charts on Fangraphs, which I will put in the video, mm-hmm. maybe. Uh, we'll see. If you remember. Probably not. Uh, <laughs> probably not. But um, if you go on Fangraphs and you, turn it, you can actually see a spray chart. He is a pull hitter. So no shifts plus Yankee Stadium. Ooh. I like Yankee Stadium just because exactly. I'm a lefty. Because I'm a lefty. Exactly. So, I mean, who knows? Brandon Belt could have a nice year. Exactly. And where would you think he'd slide into this batting lineup? Because, I mean, comparing our lineup to the San Francisco lineups of recent years, I think Belt was maybe like a 3, 4, 5 hitter. Now, 7, 8, 9? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was going to say, A, he doesn't start. Usually, he's probably, a D- he's probably mm-hmm. either on the bench, right, most likely. And maybe if he's feeling um, good, then he'll he'll start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a platoon option, really. Um, I like it. I like it. I, I think he bats probably seven. Seven, yeah. I mean, it's a. I mean, he's a lefty, like we said before, so he'll split up the righties in that batting I, lineup. I think. I think you probably go Varsho, around four. Four five. Uh, belt. Yeah. Belt four five. Belt seven. Kiermaier nine. That's just my opinion. Oh, Kiermaier has but... to be nine. Perfect leadoff, like backup yeah, exactly. leadoff hitter. Anywho, let's wrap this up here. Yes. Yes, let's wrap it up. So you guys liked it. Make sure you hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. More Jay's content coming, and we'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.